Hey there and welcome in everyone. You are here on this video because you need a little bit of sanity check on how to install NVIDIA drivers on Debian. So let's not waste any time and get into it. Here I have a freshly installed Debian 13 uh, on a physical laptop that I'm capturing. So let's switch with uh, Control Alt F something I pressed F4. Uh, and let's go to the console and log in here. We're using the TTY because we don't really need uh, a graphical interface for installing NVIDIA drivers. And there is a good chance that your graphical interface doesn't even work with your NVIDIA card if you haven't installed the drivers. So um, let's just go to the TTY, type your password, log in sudo let's just switch to root uh, uh, if you don't want to switch fully to root just use sudo on every command that i'm going to type here otherwise you are all good so the first thing uh, actually let me go back a little bit just um, debian has nvidia proprietary drivers and nvidia open source free drivers nuvo uh, nuvo drivers are crap let's be honest uh nova drivers are also crap so there are like proprietary drivers in and uh, you know debian repository but these are already way too old uh, at the date of debian 13 Trixie release so what you're going to want to do is install nvidia proprietary drivers from their official repository luckily they do have official repository for debian so we are going to use that one um, the easiest method is just to use the ext repo tool um, so you don't have to uh, go to nvidia website read the documentation manually copy paste all of the configuration files just use uh, use ext repo and do it like this uh, apt install ext repo okay uh, this is going to install a certain tool that you're going to use to install external repositories so x repo update so that it can pull the newest uh, list of what is on offer x repo search nvidia so this is going to search uh, anything that contains the NVIDIA uh, word inside. So let's do that one more time with less so it doesn't run away. Good. And it says found NVIDIA CUDA. So that's what we need, NVIDIA CUDA. Good. So let's go to ext repo enable NVIDIA CUDA. Good. So that's pretty much it if you now go to at its uh, apt sources list you will now see that there is a sources list you can cut it and see what is in there so the first thing you're going to notice is that your eyes says that this is debian 12 repository this is because debian 13 repository uh, at the date of the making of this video uh, is not ready by nvidia yet uh, however it is fully compatible um, the one that's named labeled uh, debian 12 it's fully compatible with Trixie, so just go ahead and use it if you're watching this video sometime later uh, at this moment it may already say debian 13 uh, but it doesn't really matter just use this one it's perfectly fine i'm using it everything works um up update so that it pulls uh, the 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 list of all of the new packages and you're going to see that it says that policy will reject signatures within a year so what you will want to do if you have pulled the uh, debian 12 repository you will want to change it to 13 within a year that makes sense okay 
so the next thing that we need is apt install um build essential we are going to need that for the kms uh we are going to need um, linux headers um amd 64 i think this is enough so pull that uh wait it out a little bit it uh if you pull the package called linux headers amd64 it will match your kernel version and most probably if you are on debian stable most probably you're using the lts kernel uh at this date there is no backported kernel right but um, there is very unlikely chance that you're even going to need it uh, because usually people upgrade their kernels because they need uh, the um, newer version of Radeon or Intel graphics drivers. That's kind of the most common reason on desktop Debian. Uh, but since you have NVIDIA graphics card, uh, you're just going to use NVIDIA's drivers instead of upgrading the kernel uh, to the newer version with newer Intel and AMD drivers. Uh, that makes sense yeah i think it does um let's um, i don't know what what do we need at this point i think we are now ready to install nvidia drivers so let's go and apt install nvidia nvidia and type tab and do some more tabbing 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 and it will show you a lot of stuff that starts with the word nvidia uh, so let me help you out a little bit if you go to nvidia's website uh, search for nvidia unix drivers not linux unix uh, it will usually list you three um, tracks of drivers uh, ones are release drivers uh, ones are new feature drivers and ones are like beta drivers so beta drivers uh, most certainly you don't want to install especially not on debian stable because uh, there is a reason why you use debian stable and that is because you're not a beta tester uh, so go ahead and use whichever driver is listed as new feature if you are in rush to get the latest but stable features um, for your new gaming demands. Um, if you want like ultra stable uh, versions of drivers go with the release ones, the, the, the third ones, whichever... <coughs> sorry about that whichever number uh, of the driver is written on nvidia's website so at the moment of making this video it is version 580 so that's the one that i'm going to pull um, also pay attention that if you have nvidia's graphics card older than rtx anything so gtx whatever uh unless it's gtx 1650 i think the one that is kind of a um, newer generation than all of the gtx cards uh, so basically if you have a gtx card uh go with nvidia uh driver if you have anything rtx based go with nvidia open uh that's what is going to give you um good drivers in the future the, these are the new drivers the new generation of drivers uh, generally uh, if you have an rtx card you need uh, or you want nvidia open drivers so go with open and if you press enter here it is going to pull the very latest driver of nvidia for you including the beta drivers so be careful about that if you want the very bleeding edge driver then go ahead and use nvidia open it will keep your driver always up to date and always bleeding edge and you're getting beta versions uh, if you don't want beta versions then type dash and type the number that you want so just choose 580 uh, press enter here it is going to pull everything that is 
required at this point. Good. Let's skip this. Okay, we are near the end of downloading the NVIDIA drivers, so something uh, important is going to happen. Uh, at this point, uh, first, obviously, the apt is going to install all of your drivers, uh, but also the drivers should self-compile against your current kernel. So, uh, building modules, uh, this is precisely what I was talking about. Uh, and this is important that this uh, fully finishes building. If you haven't installed um, like Linux headers uh, previously, as I told you in the beginning of the video, uh, this is going to fail. So make sure you do this in the proper order or otherwise you're going to have uh, to, you know, fix your shit. Um, another important thing here, uh, if you look a few lines above, uh, there is something called signing key. Uh, write it down uh, which uh, key it is. Uh, the, the public certificate ones, uh, I apologize, I meant the public certificate ones, that is going to be used uh, for mock signing. That is if you are using secure boot. If you are not using secure boot, then feel free to completely ignore uh, the public certificate uh, and pretty much the remainder of this video. You are good to go after the module uh, finishes building, just reboot and everything should be working at this point. Good, this is it, you're done. You can reboot your computer and enjoy your new graphics cards. Uh, card, cards, ah, anyways. Um, if you have two, they will work. Um, if you want to use secure boot, uh, we have a couple of more uh, steps. So apt install in, in install uh, mock util. Oh, it is already the latest version, so we are good with that. So mock util dash i and then var lib dkms mock mock dot pub good it is going to ask you the password so enter anything you want here it is going to ask you to repeat this uh, you are only going to need this password once uh, on the first reboot so i think we are done uh, at this uh, you know uh, moment so let's reboot this computer and wait out for the firmware to recognize that we have something uh, to import. There we go. Uh, press any key to import the key. Uh, the second option on my screen is called Enroll Mock. Press this option, press continue. Uh, and roll the keys. Yes, what is your password that you have set for yourself? Type it in and you are good. Now you can uh, click reboot and go to your BIOS to check if the secure boot is enabled. Okie dokie, secure boot. It says disabled. Okay, so let's enable it now. Okay, um, exit saving changes. Yes, so if we haven't set up the NVIDIA drivers and our signing keys properly, uh, well, then we are not going to be able to boot while the secure boot is enabled. So let's see what happens now. There we go. Let's press enter here. There we go. Uh, the reason why you have seen some red uh, boot up letters is because this computer doesn't really uh, have NVIDIA card. Uh, but the whole procedure is absolutely the same. Uh, if you have the car, 
card or if you don't have the card uh, maybe you have a radeon card that you are swapping for nvidia and you want to prepare the drivers before you change the card so that it automatically boots into your graphical interface uh, you absolutely can install nvidia drivers uh, before uh, you actually install your nvidia card so that is going to be it from me today i have hope uh, i hope that you have enjoyed uh, this video i hope that you learned something today and we are going to see you in the next one thank you very much for watching liking the video uh, sharing it with anyone else and goodbye